Hi, how's it going everyone? My name is Hank and in this video we are going to be taking a look at the best performing stock on the New Zealand exchange in the year of 2020. Now I do realize that this year has not been particularly good for a lot of people, but this is the shining star, the undisputed king of the jungle, the symbol of peace, the hope and savior of the market. They are up by more than 900% this year and of course I am talking about Pacific Edge. I have personally dug through over 40 pages of documents to show you my findings, so please show your boy some love by liking and subscribing or sharing the video. So should you invest in a Pacific Edge? Let's find out. So there's a few sections that we are going to go through. First of all, we are going to take a look at who they are and what they do. Next, we are going to look at how they are making their profit and their growth strategy. And finally, we're going to take a look at their financials and whether or not uh, you should invest in a company and perhaps going over some potential pitfalls. Pacific Edge is a cancer diagnostic company that specializes in providing innovative cancer diagnostic kits that allows the early detection of cancer. Their main product is called a CX Bladder. It is a non-invasive urine test that can quickly and accurately test the presence of bladder cancer. Now, these kits has been especially popular in the US due to the lockdown, uh, since the test can be taken at home, so they don't have to be done in medical centers or hospitals uh, that may potentially be overwhelmed by uh, other, other patients. Now, these patients can take the test at home and then send in the samples for analysis. Now, what I found particularly important on their website is that they mentioned that CX bladder testing provides the only commercially viable, non-invasive, accurate, uh, clinically uh, validated diagnostic solution across the uh, bladder cancer pathway test. And this is so incredibly important since this means that they have a product that is unique in their field. Therefore, they have created for themselves a moat uh, to prevent new competition from easily entering the field. And it simply uh, cannot be uh, understated how important this is uh, for the health of a company. They have secured large-scale commercial contracts with Centers for Medicare and Medi-Aid Services, uh, the CMS in the US, so that the patient testing costs are covered by insurance. Uh, they have also formed a uh, partnership uh, with Kaiser Permanente, uh, which is one of the largest healthcare providers in the US for further distributing their testing kits. Their primary market is in the uh, US where they get 87% uh, of their operating revenue and they conduct more than 5,000 tests at 760 US dollars per test. Now having the US as their biggest market is also extremely important uh, because for any New Zealand company that's looking to uh, grow significantly, they simply cannot focus only on the New Zealand market because New Zealand just doesn't have enough population to support the rapid growth required. Now, many of the biggest New Zealand companies are ones that started locally but have their biggest market internationally, such as A2 Milk and Fisher Pike or Healthcare, amongst many others. In addition to their existing partners, Pacific Edge is also continuously signing up with different institutions and healthcare providers to scale up their commercial operations in the US, uh, including many of the uh, healthcare providers and universities. In July, they received an investment offer of $22 million from ANZ Investments, uh, which showed ongoing support from big institutional investors. Quite often for a growth company, investors are willing to sacrifice short-term positive earnings as long as the company is achieving rapid growth in revenue. And this is no different when it comes to Pacific Edge. So in this case, we cannot use the old intrinsic value analysis to look at the fair value of the company. But what we can look at is if their revenue has been growing at a significant pace. So from their operating uh, revenue is up by 46% compared to the same period of time the previous year. They have also cut down on their operating expenses over the same period of time, which results in a decrease in their overall losses by 25% over the same period of time last year. Now, some analysts are forecasting more than 100% growth in the earnings for Pacific Edge, which would bring them into positive earnings territory within the next uh, three years' time. 
While lockdown did decrease the number of testings being carried out, uh, due to the fact that they are in the medical field and are considered as an essential service, it did not have a long-lasting effect on them compared to uh, many other countries. And they are poised to grow further into uh, 2021 and beyond, regardless of the lockdowns, due to the uh, self-testing uh, nature of their testing kits and how uh, patients can do their testings at home. Let's now take a look at the charts for Pacific Edge. Now, since June this year, their share price has grown a massive 800%. They were included into the S&P NZX50 index from the 21st of October this year. And since then, their share price has gone up by about 60%. The question now is how high would it go? Now, looking back at their all-time high value, it was way back in 2014 at around $1.60 mark. Currently, they are at around the $1.20 mark uh, with positive news regarding the growth of the company going into the next few years and how well they have navigated the overall lockdown situation, uh, coupled with the fact that they just have some really good products. And there's no reason to think why their share price would not climb much further. But of course, because they are a biotech company, they are not uh, without their risks. Uh, biotech companies are heavily subjected to government regulations, uh, deals with major partners and uh, product breakthroughs. So a new deal or product can easily send the company stock uh, skyrocketing. Now at this particular stage, I am going to go out on a limb and say that I would not be surprised if they once again reach their all-time high price of $1.60. Now, it might not happen within a week, it might not happen within a month, but I do believe it would happen. But of course, this is not financial advice and you should do your own due diligence research. So yes, I am bullish on Pacific Edge. They seem to be a good company that has a good product and have a plan to expand the uh, reach of their product, but let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, I will see you in the next video and have a Merry Christmas, everyone. Peace.